Good morning and welcome to The Morning Fix. I'm Jordan and we're excited to start your day off right with helpful tips, expert insights, and coffee. Today we've got Dan Bass. He uses Hinderust on just about anything you can and he's gonna tell us about what he uses it on. Welcome Dan, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for coming. Can you introduce yourself to the camera, tell us what you do in your shop here, what you use Hinderust on? Well, my name is Dan um, Bass, and I run Mac Pro Manufacturing. Uh, and here we, we, we're a custom manufacturer. We build um, mostly process equipment for other manufacturers. Being that we're a metal fabrication shop, we use Hinderust on um, all the metal surfaces, um, primarily. Okay. Uh, whether it's parts that are going out or our machinery. What do you use it the most on? You said your machinery and stuff. Do you use it on other things? I use it primarily or mostly at home. Almost every day I use it on something. Mm -hmm. Whether it be um, fixing something at home that's squeaking right. or I have uh, several airplanes and I do a lot of work on the airplanes. Okay. It comes in really handy out there yeah. on rod ends and lubricating cables and, and okay. preventing corrosion. Yeah. Um, so I, I use it electrical. I found that a lot of uh, electrical connections yeah. do really well with Hinderust on them. Okay. And the Hinderust will wick into uh, braided wire. Right. So you can get several feet of protection beyond the end yeah. that's exposed. Okay, perfect. Hinderust has a bunch of different formulas. Do you use the same Hinderust formula on pretty much everything, or do you use different yeah. Hinderust for? Yeah, I use the 4.0. Right? Okay. And um, that's because I'm lazy and I just. Okay. It's the. It's the <laughs> The easy one to, yeah. to use. That's yeah. what we buy. Do you have a go-to method for applying it? Do you use the aerosol cans, or do you brush it off? Well, it, when I started using it, um, the aerosol cans weren't available yet. Okay. And uh, so I started brushing, or I would have it in a spray, a spray bottle that you, right. you know, like wash stuff with. Okay. And um, but once it came out in the spray bottles, which I believe it's propelled by propane, is that correct? Mm. It's still propane. <laughs> The benefit I found with that spray bottle, with the propane delivery system, is it'll wet out, like if you're trying to hit a wire or right. fitting, it'll wet out all the way around it. It kind of propagates out quickly, yeah. I think, because of that propane yeah. Rather dissolving than a spray off. bottle being a small Yeah, and yeah. the spray bottle would just kind of throw it down. Right. So I really like the, the, the okay. um, aerosol cans. Okay. How did you discover Hinderust? What? How did you come across it? Um, well, through the president of the company, Greg, before okay. he was president of the company, um, in, uh, Floramics was his, his father's company yeah. out on the East Coast. And so I think I started getting it from Greg years ago that way. Okay, one around was, has that been? How long have you been using it? Oh, I, how long was that? Right. 15 years, 10 years ago, 15 okay. years ago, maybe was the okay. first time I heard of it. The first time I'd used Hinderust, or the first first, first package I tried, or whatever, um, we had a pontoon boat up at our cabin, uh -huh. and I was doing the electrical system. I was putting in a new electrical system starter, and I made right. this little panel and everything. And um, that was over 10 years ago, and I went in there, and I, when I built it, and I Hinderusted the whole thing, all the electrical fittings, and then put it back together. Yeah. Just this last summer, I took it apart and it looked exactly hmm. as it did 10 years before. Yeah. Nice. So it's kind of been handy. Yeah. Thanks, Dan, for being here. It was great hearing about all your uses for Hinderust and it's yeah. great hearing from Thanks you. for coming and thanks for Hinderust. It's yeah, very proud of no problem. You. <laughs> right. um, if you want to see more Morning Fix episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on our post notifications, this little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Make sure you like and you can comment down below any future episodes you want to see. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.